it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day five of my 2024 holiday card series. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawn's Treat Cart, Treat Cart Add-on Coffee, Snow Much Fun, Den Sweet Den, Holiday Helpers, and A Creature Was Stirring. So I stamped the images I'll be using on Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock with Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm going to start with my cute little polar bears, and I am going to use some E40 shades for them. I'm using E40, E41, and E42. Starting in with the shadows using that E42 and laying those down the back of their bodies. So for the first little guy, since he's facing completely forward, his shadows are going to fall equally on both the left and the right. The next little guy, they're going to fall on the right since he's facing toward the left. And the last little guy, they're going to fall on the left since he's facing toward the right. And then I'm going to do a few of the little accessory images like the whip topping, the marshmallows, and the candy canes. Then I'll come in with the E41 and start to blend out the E40. I am still sticking really close to the outside edges because I want these polar bears to still look white. I just want to give them some definition, so I'm going to be leaving quite a bit of white space on them. Once I have everything blended out, I'll come in with the lightest shade, the E40, and I'll just pull that color into the white space a little bit further. But you can see I'm still leaving plenty of white space, and that's just going to ensure that they have that shading so that they look dynamic, but they still look like little white polar bears. And while I have these markers out, I want to color anything else that I want to be in this creamy shade. So I'm going to do the little mug on the sandwich board. And then I am also going to do the larger middle section of the bottom part of the treat cart. So I'm adding that E42 on the outside edges and then blending out with the E41. And then I'll come in with the E40 and just feather that toward the center. And I will leave just a tiny little bit of white space there for an extra highlight as well. Then I'm going to switch to some cool grays. I'm using C0, C1, and C3. And I'm going to use this for the muzzles of my polar bears. Since polar bears actually have black skin under all of their white fur. So I'm just going to color that in with that soft gray combo. And then I'm also going to do the wheels on my treat cart, adding that C3 toward the bottom right and also adding it to the handle and then blending out with the C1 and filling in with the C0. And I will do the chalkboard part of my sandwich board, putting that darkest down at the bottom and blending up toward the top with the lighter two shades. Next, I'm going to switch to some pink shades. I'm using R11, R21, and R22. And I will first give my polar bears some rosy cheeks adding a touch of that R22 and then going around it with the R21 and then blending that out even further with the R11. So it just kind of fades into their fur, but it makes them look nice and cheerful. And then I'm also going to color in the little mug with the whip topping and I'm going to put my shading on the right hand side since that's where the handle is. I'll also do the glaze on my two donuts and then I will blend that out with the R21 for the mid-tone and then I'll save a little bit of room for the highlight with that R11. I'm going with kind of like a peppermint theme for the color palette of this card and also the imagery. So um, I'm going to continue now with those pinks. I'm going to do a couple of the sections of the awning and I just shaded them depending on which side of the awning they were. So I put the shading on the left for the left one and on the right for the right one and then also did two of the light bulbs on my string of lights. And then I also decided to do my little sandwich board in pink. 
So I added the R22 in the corners and at the top of the legs, since those would be tucked underneath and cast in more shadow. Blended out with the mid-tone, the R21. And then I'm going to finish off any remaining white space with that R11. And I thought that was really fun to have a nice pink sandwich board. And then before I switch combos, I'm also going to use that R22 to do the top buttons of my little gingerbread mice, which I am kind of using as little bears for this card. I think they could be bears. Their ears are just a little bit big, but I think they definitely could be bears. So I've switched to my red combo. I kept that R22 in there, but added in R24 and R29 to darken that up. And I am going to use just the R29 to fill in every other stripe on my candy canes. And then I will start coloring in some of these accessory images like the holly. I'll do a few more of the light bulbs. I'll do more of the stripes of my awning on my treat cart. And I'm starting with the R29, blending out with the R24, and then filling in with the R22. And for that center stripe on the awning, I put the shading on both the left and the right. Then I'm going to switch to an aqua combination using BG10, BG11, and BG13. I'll finish off the awnings and the string of light bulbs. I'm also going to use this aqua for anything that would normally be green because I didn't want to use any green on my card. So I'm going to use it for my holly leaves and I'll also use it for the frosting on my Christmas tree cookie in just a minute. I did the other little mug with this combo. And then I will do my Christmas tree cookie frosting, like I mentioned. And I am going to start just a little bit away from the edge because I want this to look like one of those frosted sugar cookies. So the edges are going to be brown and then the frosting will just be in the center of the cookie. Then I will lighten up this combo slightly. I'm going to take away the BG13 and add in the BG quadruple zero. And I will do the rest of my treat cart in this combo. Adding those shadows where I think they should go up under the awning where that would be casting a shadow and then at the base of the poles and the sides of the edges and then just blending toward the center. And then I'm also going to do the lower part of my donuts with this combo. So it can be kind of like a minty flavored donut maybe. And then I'll also do the little cake stand, which in this card I am using as a table for a little outdoor cafe. And then I'm going to move on to some light brown tones for my cookies. I'll use E30, E31, and E33 for my two little gingerbread bears. And then I'll also use the E33 on the right side of the Christmas tree cookie and the E31 on the left side. So it has those nice crispy edges. Then I'll grab a black gel pen and go over the eyes of my two bears that are open and then trim these images out with their matching dies. Next, I'm going to pick out some pattern paper from the Candy Cane Lane 6x6. I'm going to choose one print to use as my background, which is going to be this pale aqua snowflake print. And then I'm going to use two prints on my card base. I'm going to use these peppermint candies and the candy cane stripe, which has a nice little bit of foiling to it. It's very pretty when you catch it in the light. For my focal panel, I am going to trim down that snowflake print with the second largest of the large stitched rounded rectangle stackables. This is going to give me a little bit of a smaller focal panel, which is going to allow more of that beautiful pattern paper to show through. I also trimmed down two snowdrifts with the stitched hillside borders. And I trimmed down an extra white panel, which I am going to glue the pattern paper to, just to give that a little bit more stability because I want to pop this up on the card. 
Then I'm going to glue on my snowdrifts and I'm making sure not to put any glue near the top edge so that I have room to tuck things behind that if I want to. So I'm going to do the taller one first and then the shorter one and then I'm going to pop this whole panel into my Misty so I can stamp my sentiment. I'm using Merman ink and I put together a sentiment using both the treat cart and the treat cart add-on coffee. And it says, have a brutiful holiday, which I just think is really fun. I stamped that down twice to make sure it was nice and bold. And then I'll pop my card base in my Misty. I'm using some ballet slippers cardstock and I'm going to stamp on the inside in bubblegum ink. And this time I'm stamping the little bear from the treat cart add-on coffee and then wishing you love and joy. And then I'm going to add a little candy cane into his paw. So I'll stamp that down twice as well. So it's the same strength of ink as the rest of it. And then I can set this aside. Now I'm ready to start assembling. So I trimmed down those two pieces of pattern paper that I'm using on my card front with the largest of the large stitch rectangle stackables. And then I'm going to glue the peppermint stripe or candy cane stripe to the entire card front. It's going to line up with all four edges. And then I'll glue this little peppermint candy piece across the center horizontally. Once I'm sure I've got that on there nice and straight, I'll bring in my focal panel. I've added some foam tape to the back. I'm just gonna peel off those release papers, line it up in the center and pop that down into place. And then I can bring in my images. I'm going to start with the treat cart and add some glue to the back of that. And then I am going to leave a little bit of space there also to tuck my one of my bears into that opening. So I'll get that lined up toward the top of the higher snowdrift and I'll also tuck the sandwich board next to that on the right. And then I'm going to take the little bear with his arms stretched wide and tuck him into the treat cart. I think he looks super cute there. I'll add the string of lights to the lower part to bring some color down there as well. I think that looks really festive. And then I'm going to add a little sprig of holly to the roof, again, just to make it a little bit more festive. Originally I was gonna put it on the left, but I felt like there was kind of a gap over on that right hand side, so I decided to add it there. Then I'm going to add the cake stand, which is gonna be my table and I'll add that down to the lower snowdrift. And then on either side of the table, I'm going to add the other two little polar bears. I love these little polar bears so much. I think they're so darling. I'm always so excited when I get to use them on a card. And I just thought that they would be so perfect for a little snowy peppermint themed polar party. So I have added them and then I'm going to make the drink that I have stamped onto the sandwich board. So you can stamp whatever you want. I picked candy cane latte. So I'm going to give the polar bear in the treat cart the mug with the marshmallows and then I'm going to tuck one of the candy canes back behind that so he can be making the special. And then the other little mug I'm going to add to the polar bear on the right because his hand is outstretched that way and just felt like it fit in his hand. And then I wanted to give them a whole bunch of little treats kind of piled high on this table so they can just be kind of indulging at their little party. And so I'm going to kind of add as many things as I can there. I'm also going to give the little uh, Christmas tree cookie to the other polar bear since his hand is also outstretched. I'll add a candy cane in front of the pile of donuts. And then I'm going to add one of the gingerbread bears into the polar bear in the treat cart's other hand. 
And then I just wanted to figure out a place to add these other two little goodies. I decided to tuck this candy cane back behind the pile of donuts. Just had to kind of pick them up a little bit with my fingernail so I could tuck that in. And then I am also going to try to tuck in that other little gingerbread bear. Because I just thought it was too cute not to use. So they've got a whole big pile of treats, which is not surprising since mom is not around at the moment. Um, but anyway, I'm going to add a few little sparkling clear sequins because I still felt like that top right corner needed a little something. And I just thought that that would be fun because it looks like falling snow. So I have a sprinkle that is going from the top right to the middle left down to the bottom right again. And then I'm going to fill the centers with some stardust stickles. And I'm also going to add a little bit of stickles to some of the items on the scene. I added it to the marshmallows, the holly berries, the string of lights, the donut glaze, the whipped cream, and the Christmas tree cookie frosting. And then I also decided to add it to the top edge of the snow drifts. So lots of sparkle on this one. And that is going to finish off this card. So I am going to lift that up so you can see all of the detail and give you another peek at the inside. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, it's also going to be on the Lawn Fawn blog and YouTube channel today, so you can check it out again over there if you'd like. I would really appreciate the support. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used, you'll find them all listed and linked down in the description bar below the video in case you'd like to pick up anything for yourself. If you like what you see here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I'm going to put up day five of the previous two years of holiday card series in case you'd like to keep watching. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you had a good one and I will see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.